Hey, how's it going, everybody? So we're out here with my neighbor's bike again. Uh, that's the green Suzuki sitting here. Uh, I thought he said that these uh, tires were rain tires. No, I misheard him, and he said they were they're drag race tires. Um, I, I don't know how I misheard him, but whatever. Um, but he went and got it all ran out and got it all dialed in and everything. And now he's asking if we can, uh, take his, you know, these tires, these drag tires or race tires off of his bike and put a new set of regular tires on his bike for him. So that's what we're going to do right quick. Oh, let's slip down the edge here. Okay. So you guys can see. There we go. There we are. Come on, get underneath the edge. There we go. I didn't even know we had a drag strip around here. Oh, I think we have one out the mountain close by Madison or something like that. But I said something to him the other day. Um, I was like, hey, you know those tires, they say, and I mentioned this in the video when I put them on too. I, I just didn't say it to him, but I did mention it in the video. I, was, I said, uh, I think these are, aren't, rain tires i don't know what kind of tires they are i'd never seen these ones before just i don't do that type of stuff so of course i wouldn't know what you know what a racing tire would look like for a motorcycle i don't do any type of racing or nothing like that never have never will we got a brand new one right here we're gonna pop this baby on right quick well, as soon as we get the cardboard off of it. There we go. All right, let's see here. Uh, passenger side. Yep. Driver side, that means rotation goes this way. So just the way it is. Just like that. Just work this. Well, oh, I do need to see on the other side, so I can do that. That's fine. We'll do that. We'll flip the rim over, put it on from the other way. Doesn't hurt. It over like this, like that, and you still got rotation going the same way. So, right? Okay, so, sitting like this, go on just like this. Oh, yeah. Okay, it was just the way I was looking at it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Let's line up the yellow dot there. And then we don't have to worry about balancing it. Because it's already at, you know, optimal peak balance at that point. When you line up the yellow dot with the valve stem. Hmm. There we go. And I do have both tires off the bike. So we're gonna do the front and the back in one video here. Hold that down on my elbow now. And kind of put it in like so.
Ja. This is where feet come in handy at. A third hand. <laughs> the back isn't sealing which it is there we go now it's not there we go come on too much there we go one more I'll do it Turn this just a tad bit. So let's make sure it unseals. Looks like that. You need to unseal from both sides here. Easier said than done. Okay. Now I can move. Where's the dot? There it is. Just need to move it just a little bit. Stay. Stay. I moved it. It's not easy to do. I think that's as far as I'm going to get it. All right, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That was a little bit better. It's a little better. Yeah, there we go. It's off just a skosh, but nothing major. I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right, we'll set that one there. Okay. Ow. About three, I hit my wrist. Are you kidding me? Doesn't want to stay pop free, though. That's for sure. Ow. There we go. There we go. I guess these are his testing tires, as they said. So, I get that. Have a different set of tires for track and road. Smart. This is the passenger side here. Let's make sure we don't lose that grommet. Don't want to lose that. <clears throat> Rotation on this needs to go this way, this way. Let's see what's the rotation on these tires. Then we'll have arrows pointing that way, so that way.
All right. Oh, here's the yellow dot right here. Had to find the yellow dot on the tire right quick. Which is right there. Turn that just a little bit more. Kind of line that up just a little bit better like that. There we go. there. I got something to push on. Just get in there. Shucks. See if I can just step on it and push it down. There we go. Okay. All right. Line up the valve stem right like that. There we go. One more ought to do it. Oh, still too big of a bite. What's that? Hardly working. <laughs> And the other one's on! What's that? I said I got another one out! <laughs>
stuck my hand right in that grease. There we go. Thirty-two, forty-two psi. Ooh, I maybe jump a little. Thirty-three. Mosquitoes out here are horrible. There we go. A little bit higher than that. Oh, we didn't lose that much. Just a little bit. This one's ready to go back on the bike. Now we can tear up this bad boy. There we go. See, what's it say for this one's air pressure? I forgot. on the, the bike says 36 whatever I just remember that it has a tag right there on the bike that says 36 right here for air pressure right on the VIN tag of, the, of motorcycles it says what their air pressure are are supposed to be Ah. 
There we go. Put the cap back on. All right, my neighbor's race uh, tires. Uh, he switched. We got him switched back over to regular road tires now. Now I'll get them put on back on the bike. Uh, DS Vault, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to like, share, subscribe.